Jim, thanks for taking the time today to talk to us about the Rotary Foundation. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about your background with the Rotary Foundation and your background in Rotary. Okay, well I've been in Rotary since 1985. I'm a member of the E-Club of the Southwest, which is an online club. Uh, we have a meeting every week and uh, we're about uh, 65 members in uh, I think 12 states now and about six, seven countries around the world. And uh, I've been involved with the foundation on the district level for probably eight to ten years. And I've been the foundation chair for the last uh, two years, my third year now. But in our old district 5510, before we joined, I was also the foundation chair the last year there as well. Prior to that, I was on the grants committee. And that's where I learned all about the grants and how all that works. And uh, it's been, uh, you know, Rotary Foundation is complex. I wonder if you could tell us in your own words, what does the foundation actually do? The Rotary Foundation provides funds to clubs so that it can do local community projects and international projects. How many clubs in our district are involved in international or local grant projects? That's a good question. Uh, we're actually really good in our district for club participation in international projects. Uh, and so we have at least half our clubs involved with a global grant project on some level, either as a sponsor or a contributor. Um, and we have about 80% of our clubs that participate in what's called district grants, which funds their local community projects. What kinds of international projects are done by clubs in our district? Boy, we have touch just about every type of uh, area of focus in international projects you can do from peace to um, economic development, uh, disease, everything, water. Uh, I would say that uh, in the last four years we our clubs have sponsored about 50 projects, international projects, for a combined total spending of a little over five million, which is pretty remarkable. So everything from uh, Navajo Water Project to microcredit uh, to mothers and child in Kenya, uh, we've got uh, I banks in Mexico, just a whole plethora of, of different type of projects. Where does the Rotary Foundation even get its funds? Can you tell us that? Uh, I want to double back on what I was mentioning in terms of what the Rotary Foundation does. A lot of people think the foundation itself is actually doing these projects. It's not. It's collecting the money and turning it back to clubs so that these projects are done. So the funds that, that uh, uh, fund these projects are in effect from clubs and club members. And I would say 95% are just average Rotarians that are contributing to their own charity, the Rotary Foundation, to fund these projects. Does the Rotary Foundation have a good reputation in your opinion? The Rotary Foundation is considered one of the best charities in the world. Uh, Charity Navigator gives it the highest rating you can possibly get, four stars. Other organizations give it very high ratings as well. I think Rotarians should be really proud that their organization, the Rotary Foundation, is considered one of the top charities around the world by every standard possible. And that's transparency, accountability, efficiency, and effectiveness. Uh, the fact that we, very few dollars are spent in administration and the projects get done so well is a testament to how good that our foundation is. So it sounds like the Rotary Foundation has a really great reputation. What are some of the ways that Rotarians can support the foundation? Yes, there's a lot of different ways that people can support the foundation. Uh, one of the more popular ones that's being developed, or has been developed in the last few years, is called Rotary Direct, which is a recurring giving program where you simply use your credit card or debit card, and a certain amount of money gets withdrawn every month. Of course, you can go online and contribute any time, and I've done that over the years. But you've got a number of different places you can put the money. Annual fund, uh, which goes to fund these projects we've been talking about. Then you've got polio, where the money goes strictly to polio. And you've got a legacy fund, which is called the endowment, where you can put money from a, a will or a trust after your, after your death, and that money is held in perpetuity and just the interest gets spent. So there's a number of different ways and we always encourage anybody that has questions to contact our team at the district and we'll help them out any way we can. 
Can you give us an idea of some of the best practices that clubs can use to support the foundation? Well, first, I think it's important because the Rotary Foundation is complex, uh, it's really good for a club to have a champion within your, the club to promote the, the foundation. If you put that burden on the president or the treasurer or the secretary, they just don't have time. So we recommend that a club assign somebody to what's called the club Rotary Foundation chair position. You can have more than one person on the committee, but you at least need somebody to champion it. We, we say get a, a, a chair for that uh, position. Uh, and again, some clubs might be too small, uh, and I get that, but if, if there's any way possible to appoint a past president, that's always a good idea to, to take that position. So then, once you've got somebody that can lead in the club, there are really, I think, three things that make, make it uh, work to have an impact. One is that person that has to know the basics of the foundation, have to read up a little bit about it, they have to know the difference between the annual fund, polio, endowment fund, they have to know where the resources are. The second thing is they have to keep the Rotary Foundation front and center with the club. That means having periodic programs, um, they can be dedicated a whole 20 minutes as the actual program, or you can have just uh, once a week, uh, two or three minutes, something or another about the, the Rotary Foundation. And it can be just something you can read out of a magazine, it can be a short video. Uh, again, we've got a lot of stuff we can make available for clubs to do that. And then the, the third component to be really impactful in the club is recognition. And that is so crucial because we need to recognize our own members who, who uh, uh, provide funds to our foundation. And as you know, we've got all different kinds of levels from Paul Harris to Arch Klump to everything in between. And uh, recognition is a real key and, and we should be celebrating those individuals within the club who actually uh, give to the foundation. So those three things. Know the basics, uh, keep the Rotary Foundation front and center, and recognition. You mentioned videos that would be available for the club's use. Where can the club find those videos? Uh, we've got a link for that, and uh, I would encourage any club that wants to get something specific to just call me or contact me, and I'll find the video that they want to show. It, it can be very basic about the areas of focus, or it can be something real specific like a project. It sounds like an awful lot of information that an individual has to know about the foundation. Is there somewhere that they can go for help? There is a lot to know. And we tell foundation chairs, anybody that's doing a global grant or a district grant, to rely on our team at the district. We have a great team of people. And the team of people is listed on our website and uh, it's, it's the District Rotary Foundation Committee, and everybody will, that's on our team will be very happy to answer questions, including myself. Uh, our website is another great resource, and uh, I would like to have um, everybody that's involved with the foundation at, at the club level to take a look at what's on our website, because we put the best stuff you can find, and it's the stuff you use 95% of the time. And uh, it's not cluttered, it's easy to find. If you go to Rotary International and start me meandering through all the stuff they've got, you'll never find anything. It's just too complicated. But we've made it easy. I know that we have worked for a long time to eradicate polio. Is the Gates Foundation still involved in matching our donations? Yes, polio is still a two to one match. So for every dollar a Rotarian gives, the Bill and Melinda Gates gave two dollars in addition to that. So it's still one of the best deals we can do and polio still needs our support. So I still encourage clubs and club members to give something to polio every year. Could you just give us a little bit more information about Rotary Direct as a way to support the foundation? Uh, we have what's called a Connect Through Giving campaign. It's got two components. One is major gifts, which is 10,000 or more. The other component is Rotary Direct. We are encouraging clubs to encourage their members to give through Rotary Direct. Rotary Direct is nothing more than recurring giving. That's all it is. It's not once a year, it's recurring. You can go on the website and give any time, as I said earlier, but the recurring thing is just easy. You don't have to worry about it. And you can just almost forget it. You do $10 a month on your credit card or 25 or whatever you want to do. 
or your debit card, and it's just convenient. So we're encouraging clubs to do that. Plus, the good part of that is that whoever is giving through Early Direct, you go on the international website and you can see exactly when you gave, how much you gave, it's all there. It's just like looking at your checking account online. Everything is there. So yes, it's a big part of what we're doing. And we think it's gonna help uh, more members get involved with the foundation and actually with bigger gifts as well. I know that there's a contest going on now with regard to clubs using Rotary Direct. Can you give us some of the details on that? Yes, we have a club contest and we're taking the top two clubs in terms of total members that are on Rotary Direct by the end of May 31st of 2020 and then also the top two clubs in terms of percentages on Rotary Direct. And they will be awarded $2,000 each unrestricted in what we call district designated funds. It's basically a district grant, but there's no matching involved. It's simply an outright cash gift to them to use on a project. They have to use it on a project, of course. But then there's, we got, uh, for clubs that may not quite get there to the top, we still have two wild card picks that we can do. And if you're in the top 50 percentile in either the percentage or the total giving, we're going to draw out of a hat. And so there's a chance for two clubs to, to get that uh, $2,000 a piece. You also mentioned the new major gift initiative. What are the details there? The major gifts program is uh, something that we have not done in our district because we're only three years old. And uh, the last one I knew about between the two districts before they joined was 5510, and that was probably about eight to 10 years ago. And uh, what it is, it's an initiative to, to, for donors in, that are Rotarians to either donate through a legacy gift like the endowment or an outright cash gift. And uh, so this is sort of outside the normal giving that we do. And the idea is we're gonna raise a lot more money than we have in the past. And it also does create an excitement within clubs because we, we see people who are willing to give ten, fifty, hundred thousand dollars to the Rotary Foundation, and it's quite an incentive for others to give as well. And uh, we, as a district, give fairly well, uh, but we can do better. And so I think between Rotary Direct and this major gifts campaign, uh, we're going to do uh, an outstanding job this year in terms of fundraising. Jim, thank you again for all the work that you do to support the Rotary Foundation and help our district be involved with projects around the world. And thank you all for your time and attention in this segment about the Rotary Foundation.